When the wind blows from the east, something is vibrating in our attic, a low hum that sounds like there's a motorcycle outside. It's intermittent, depending on how gusty the wind is. On the outside, we can hear something vibrating too, and it sounds like it's coming from the soffit vents. Would this likely be the baffles vibrating against the plywood sheeting? Or maybe the vents covers are resonating? If I open the attic access panel, I can see some daylight over where the noise is coming from. Without a close inspection it is hard to tell for sure. A vent that is loose or damaged can vibrate and create quite a racket. Loose flashing or a panel, crossbar, out of place can cause noise. It's possible to find the trouble from the inside but it is more likely that it is outside and will have to be discovered and repaired from there. If you use a leaf blower from a distance, outside, don't put it too close, you should be able to duplicate the sound and find the problem. I will be glad to answer any questions you may have. Machink Hi, I have three follow-up questions. When we last got the shingles replaced, 10 years ago, the roofer put in two additional vents on the west side of the house, on a gabled section. He did this by mistake, they were supposed to go on the garage roof. I didn't have them redo it since I figured you can't have too much ventilation up there. Now I'm wondering if those two vents are letting in too much wind, so maybe I should plug them somehow. On the outside, the sound is coming from at least three soffit vents, as I listen from the outside. As I listen from the inside of the attic, the sound is coming from something near the same soffit vents, not the main part of the attic. The house was built in 1991. What is the probability that this is the styrofoam baffles? In other words, have you ever heard of this before? Lastly, I thought about going into the attic to try to get closer to the sound, but there's a lot of insulation, we live in Minnesota. I'm concerned about messing it up, but I'm wondering if there's technique people use to navigate an attic that's already been insulated. Thanks. The styrofoam baffle is an excellent candidate for the problem. I would not. Close off any vents. The baffles are often just shoved into place and not stapled properly. They have the perfect properties to make the sound you are describing. Look for a damaged soffit vent from outside often caused by squirrels, as another possibility. This would possibly lead to a damaged styrofoam baffle. Machink For working in the attic If your access will allow use a sheet of half-inch 4x8 plywood. You may need to. You can lay it flat on the insulation and lay or sit on it as. Needed the insulation will rise back up when the plywood is removed. Wear a dust mask and goggles while placing the plywood. Half inch is strong enough to support a worker laying down or sitting. Do most stand on the edge of the plywood. You can stand in the middle or so with no problem. Machink The soffit vents look in good shape though I haven't taken one off to see if there may be paint on the bug screen backing. I think it's the styrofoam baffles since there's really not much else there to make the vibration. What's the simplest repair for this, assuming it's the baffles? It seems like getting at the baffles through the vents would be tough, especially those that are in between the vents. Is this something best fixed from the inside? I have wood soffits. Also, would you just replace them with a better baffle? Or just try to figure out how to get them stapled down? 
Styrofoam just seems like it would rip through a staple, but maybe stapling is standard practice. They are installed from the attic so the way to fix them would be in the attic. You will have to get to the tightest part so the plywood I mentioned earlier would be the best way. That's set if you get. And the baffles are in good shape you can still reach down into the soffit and block the vent to stop the wind from coming in. You have enough ventilation that it would cause no problems. I would use a piece of 1 inch insulation cut to fit tightly into the soffit between the rafters and joists. You would still have the space and air flow behind the baffle that is required but the outside wind would not be able to get up under it. Machine. One last question, is it more likely that the wind going through the baffle and making it vibrate is coming from excess pressure inside the attic, wind coming in through the roof vents and out through the baffles? Or is it more likely the wind is coming in through the soffit vents and up into the attic and out the roof vents? I'm just wondering about those two extra roof vents, and whether or not they're allowing too much wind slash pressure in, which is making the baffles vibrate as air flows through. Thanks for all your help. I hank at us more likely gusts of wind coming from the outside. If you can get to the roof vents from the inside you see PL block them and see if that makes a difference. If this is easier it would not hurt to try before doing anything drastic. Especially if these are turbine roof vents. Machine. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.